Oh hi, Okazayamas! Vlogmas day 10! We're in the double digits! Let's jump right into that advent calendar. You know I'm excited about it. I have to say, I'm like pretty thrilled with this calendar. I thought we were gonna get some like props and stuff. I didn't think we were gonna get 25 figures. Like what? Very excited. Day 10, all the way in the bottom. Looks like it. Ah, of all the characters, aren't they trying to pass us off as like baby Han Solo? Like, I don't know. I don't know. He's cute. There you go. You fell over yesterday. Kylo Ren. The cats keep coming over here. I just. I would have imagined they would have put Poe in his flight suit. It's got to be Han Solo, right? Am I lost? You guys tell me. Why am I so confused over a major character? So, uh, I'm very into limited edition things and special seasonal stuff. And when Dunkin' Donuts put a sugar plumbed ice macchiato on my feet, I was like, but then I remembered, every time I go to Dunkin' Donuts, I'm disappointed. If Dunkin' Donuts is your jam, that's great. I just don't know how to order there to get what I want. Uh, every time I get it, I'm like, this is too sweet or too not sweet or they put real milk in it, one of the two. So we're gonna make our own. The flavor notes are just like a combination of berries. And it's like, gee, thanks. That's super helpful. So what we've done is we're gonna make it up as we go along. I got this little container of mixed berries, and this is a thing my mom did when I was a kid a lot. Um, I don't know if it's like normal or whatever, but if you put sugar on it, it creates a syrup with the berry juices. Uh, so I've done that, and it's been sitting. The drink is very purple. We might have to add food coloring in it for funsies, but I'm gonna mash these berries. I'm gonna add some spices. I'm thinking a little bit of ginger, a little bit of cinnamon, and a tiny bit of nutmeg to like make it sugar plum. Cause a sugar plum is technically like a mm, gooey, like a sugar attached a group of things to make like a snack, a Christmas snack. Um, like nuts and, and berries and plums and stuff. But um, we're gonna put some, some seasoning, some uh, up in there. And then we're gonna make the drink. So let's do that. Added all of our seasoning to it and I'm frankly quite pleased with the color I did not expect it to actually turn out to be lavender but it did let's assemble our drink and there we have it our own take on Dunkin Donuts ice macchiato and the sugar plum. Fairy variant. This is good. I recommend this. If you like fruity things, this is gonna be up your alley. If you like layered coffee, this is gonna be great. Um, I just, this is good. I'm proud of ourselves. Good job. Today's gonna be an incredible day. Jeremiah and I have decided that it's finally time to get rid of our college and young adult target furniture and like start furnishing the house in a way that makes sense for us. So uh, we are getting a new couch and it's coming today and we might get some more stuff over the next couple of days. And we ordered all this stuff a month ago so we're very excited to have it all like start to come together. And that day is today. tour this is the new couch it's been accepted by the children this one doing the uh, what I like to call the balloon 
lay. We can just like grab his little legs as a balloon string. And then we got one cat loaf. And now it is lunchtime. I'm gonna have some chili. It's gonna be great. Um, I'm waiting on a <laughs> drizzly delivery. Uh, they deliver alcoholic adult beverages. So I am actually getting wine to marinate meat in. Uh, I wish it was something more exciting. I mean, I've got other stuff too, but. Just finished work. And I forgot to mention the best part about today. And that is that I took tomorrow off. So I get, it's my Friday, it's my Friday. And I'm gonna just lounge. That's not true, we gotta mail out Christmas presents and stuff. Uh, so we're gonna use some of that time to do that. Get ahead of some vlogmas editing. But that's all tomorrow, Sasha's problem. Today, Sasha's gonna work out. Have a glass of wine, reverse sear steak, and uh, sit on my new couch. work out harder than I remember but uh, it is time to cook some dinner but before I shall make myself a little aperitif which is French for I'm gonna have a drink before dinner uh, I'm gonna make myself a whiskey highball which isn't that uh, crazy refreshing ah, it tastes like I have earned this after a long day of work we are gonna make another type of steak for dinner I normally don't have this much red meat but there was a really good deal on it so we're eating a bunch of red meat we're gonna do a reverse here but we're gonna do a reverse here with a marinade which I've never tried so fingers crossed everything's gonna work out yeah so I'm preheating the oven if you've never reverse seared it is Personally, my favorite way to cook a steak, it is impossible to overcook, much like a sous vide, which is my second favorite way to cook a steak. Preheating the oven to 200 degrees, and we're gonna put the steak on a rack, season it, and um, let it cook at 200, between 20 and 40 minutes until it reaches an internal temperature of about 10 degrees less than what we want, and we want it to be 135 to be medium rare, so we're gonna cook it till 125, and then we're gonna sear it in a stupid hot pan. All right, I think they're done reverse searing. I'm gonna need to tempt them, but we're giving them a minute to rest. We've finally done roasting the boys, and we're gonna sear them. I got my camera in my armpit, so like, wish me luck. All right, here we go. I forgot to show you the results, so nailed it. It's great, this is why I love reverse sear. You, if you're careful, you can't go over. Pairing this with some spinach, some curry sweet potato fries, sriracha ketchup, and these are pickled turnips. So we're pickled with radishes, hence why they're pink. I'm gonna enjoy this. And frankly, I think this is a good place to end Vlogmas because I think we're just gonna watch anime on the couch for the rest of the night. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in to Vlogmas Day 10. If you like this video, give it a like. If you're into my sweaty bangs, leave a comment. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, do that so that way you can get, what, four, 15? 15 more Vlogmases. Thank you, goodbye.